I noticed that typically I don't say hello to you, so I'll start this one a bit differently. Hello everybody, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> That's just too pretentious of me, but this video is going to be somewhat different from my typical content because I went out to my local grocery shop, you know, supermarket, to find most, if not all, desserts, sweets, candies, pretty much anything that has sugar in it that is vegan or accidentally vegan, basically it's just made of plants. And since I personally have a massive sweet tooth, always had one, always will, these are the sweets that I most likely will rely on. Especially when I'm touring or just cycling a lot, then I like to have quite a bit of sugary stuff on me and the good thing is that regardless of where you live in Latvia or maybe you're visiting then pretty much any big grocery store will carry these is it Rimi, Maxima, Prisma, Lots? <laughs> if not all of them then 50% definitely even your local little shop will have them and before I start my list I need to give out some disclaimers first of all most of these products do contain white refined cane sugar and if you have a problem with it being filtered through bone charcoal then unfortunately this list is not going to be for you also some of these products do contain palm oil i personally try to avoid it as much as i can although if somebody gives me something with it or when i'm touring and i get really hungry i will buy things with palm oil um you know your standards lower when you're hungry but I'm aware of the consequences, I'm aware of the deforestation that it causes. Um, make your own judgments. And the last disclaimer is that yes, all of these foods are junk foods, they're refined foods. Their main purpose is just to sweeten up your life or just give you a boost of energy when you need it. Also, remember, veganism is not about eating all healthy all the time and surviving only on whole plant foods. No, it's a lifestyle where we try to minimize the suffering and death of animals as much as possible and practicable by consuming plant foods. Ethics, okay? Not health. Forget these two ever being connected. Anyways, let's start this. So the first candy, which is actually my all-time favorite candy, it's called Serenade and it's by our own Latvian confectionery factory, Lima. It's basically just mixed dried fruits with nuts covered in chocolate. They also have chocolate bars of it, which recently they updated to an XL version, <laughs> which I probably had at least five times in the last few weeks <laughs> because it's so freaking good. The next candy from the same factory is Vavarite. And this one is just a chocolate candy with nuts covered in chocolate. <laughs> That's the best way I can describe it, but it's really tasty as well. Another one is called Reeds, and this one I haven't had in a really long time, so I don't remember the taste, but I'm sure it's perfect. The next one is Diana. This one is a berry jelly covered in chocolate, and no, there's no gelatin in it. And the last one from Lima is Trifella. It's a chocolate truffle. <laughs> Some more local products would be these little dried fruit pieces. And if I remember right, they do not contain sugar. So these ones are 100% vegan, local, fair trade, <laughs> organic. Maybe they're not organic, but they're natural, whole. Not raw because they're dried in more than 40 degrees Celsius, but they're natural. Then there's the same thing, just in a different shape and not local. They're extremely tasty, but <laughs> too expensive. <laughs> if you're lucky to find naked bars, they're vegan. A classic Latvian product are cranberries and powdered sugar. They're just perfection in a box. <laughs> Pretty much anybody knows Skittles. They're excellent in long ass endurance rides. Just the main food I consume personally. <laughs> Talking about chocolate, most black chocolate bars are vegan though i always recommend you check the ingredients list first these ones all of them are vegan this incredible collaboration between lima and the riga black balsam is also <laughs> accidentally vegan fruit jellies and most of them gelatin is replaced by agar agar another favorite of mine are these caramel tasting ropes <laughs> I 
fucking love them and unfortunately recently i found out that the red ones aren't vegan so they contain carmine aka 120 aka crushed bugs and it's so fucking annoying because but why can't they put a different coloring why should they use bugs because they're there's a variety of red coloring besides that one the same goes to these gelatin free gummies they're not vegan also ones that i have shared sometime in the past i think it was katya's all of those contain beeswax and if you make a product gelatin free why the fuck should you put other non-vegan ingredients in it like it doesn't make sense at all for me so fucking annoying the next legendary product is lokum aka turkish delight except the rose water one has carmine in it and the cream one has milk in it so just take the original one with the lady and the basket of roses okay sesame and sunflower seed paste are typically vegan although i personally have never been a fan of those but i love marzipan with marzipan, you also have to check the ingredients list because sometimes they put whey powder or eggs in it, but originally it is vegan. This is an Estonian product, it also has no gelatin in it. Hard food candies are typically vegan, although what confuses the shit out of me in them is that they contain lactic acid. And yes, in Europe, typically it's synthetically made, but still... I don't like to buy products that contain lactic acid in them. I will not eat them. <laughs> just, just because of the name, just because of that. These jelly beans don't contain gelatin nor carmine. Excellence. Mamba. Cheap. Little. Perfection. <laughs> I couldn't pass on canned foods because they're just excellent desserts. Jacarini. Rojo. Can't explain the taste but they're vegan <laughs> Oreos if you're lucky enough to find these beautiful, unique Latvian hard candies they're also vegan Prianiki <laughs> this brand is the cheapest one and my personal favorite although with these types of cookies especially ones that have the jam filling in them be cautious and read the ingredients list first because they may contain not may, they contain eggs so check it first, be careful. Old Alpro puddings, vanilla chocolate and caramel. These chocolate chip cookies, one of them is gluten-free, the other one is sugar-free. Don't ask why. <laughs> these sugar-free waffles, they're actually vegan. <laughs> and these apple and cinnamon cookies by Remy. So I hope I somehow broaden your horizons of what is available in Latvian supermarkets as far as plant-based desserts, candies, sweets and cookies go. I'm sure that there are many other options which I didn't notice or maybe i just don't know about but these are just the basic things that you can find pretty much anywhere in any store like sedna the vavari and looks chocolate <laughs> it's freaking everywhere um i think next time i'll go to a speciality store that we as people who live in ring are so freaking blessed to have because it has anything and everything that you would ever want there it's a vegan heaven so until then take care and don't be afraid to read the ingredients list of random products in the store even if it takes you a long time and people might find it weird forget about people fuck them <laughs> read as much as you want you can discover so many new products that way and just learn about what's in your food so be vegan carve the fuck up and get amongst it man just skip the pepperoni keep the dairy aside i know what you're thinking that's bruschetta now nah, we got the soy cheese counterfeit cheddar hook up the nachos guacamole tacos avocado sushi domo arigato what do you eat